If we're looking specifically at modern dance, then there were three main areas of innovation and that was um, in Europe, in Britain and here in, in the United States. Here in America, it was actually two female uh, dancers, Loie Fuller first and then Isadora Duncan, um, who are described as the first rebels against classical ballet and it was very much a physical reaction to the restraint particularly for the female classical dancer um, that they that they were challenging so their, their first um, uh, steps were to to reform costume to take the dancer the female dancer out of the bodice to take them you know, out of the toe shoes and all of the, um, the you know, de sometimes deformities that they that can produce. However, there was another um, key dancer of that generation, Ruth St. Dennis. And Ruth St. Dennis and her husband, um, Ted Sean, founded a company called Dennis Sean on the West Coast um, in sort of 1914, 1915, and it was two key choreographers who started to, to, to train at the Denishon School, Martha Graham and Doris Humphrey, that really would then be deemed the, that next generation of American modern dancers. Surprisingly, UMS's first dance presentations were not modern dance. They were ballet and they were world dance. They were non-Western dance. I believe the first time UMS presented a modern dance company was in 1963 and it was the Paul Taylor Dance Company. Well, a lot of thought goes into how we put together a dance season. Every year I want to tell a story in some small way about the diversity of what dance makers are creating right now, um, what the histories are that inform those dance makers that are making dance right now, and you know, give just a snapshot of work that's taking place internationally at the moment. We have obviously, with it being a university and town, a very educated and a very open-minded community. But I think the other thing about the way that modern dance and postmodern dance and some classical ballet has, has, has thrived here in Ann Arbor has been because of the Savvy program, programming of UMS.